During my time on prac at a Catholic school located in Sydney's western suburbs, my abilities as a teacher had improved and developed over the three weeks I was at the school. Whilst on placement, I was able to cover Year 7 history, Year 9 HSIE, where I was able to teach both history and geography. Year 7 was focusing on ancient China and medieval Europe, and Year 9 looked at Australians at war and sustainable biomes. This year seven class had quite a few diversity students, meaning I had to keep the lessons engaging and use explicit teaching to set out clear guidelines for the students, which in turn will give them, will give the diversity students very clear details of what is expected throughout the lesson. And if need be, I can adjust the lesson, I can adjust the activities for the diversity students so they are still able to learn the content and not fall behind their peers. And in this particular lesson, it was a double period and year seven were learning about medieval feudal system, which covers HT 3-4 and HT 4-8. To keep the students all engaged with this new topic, I decided to play a game with the students, which will put the students in the shoes of those in the feudal system. We had one king, a lord and a lady, eight knights, and the rest of the students were peasants. The students were given lollies. However, just like the feudal system, the peasants ended up with the least amount of lollies and the king had the most. Then by asking the class these three questions allowed them to voice their beliefs and ideas about their place in the feudal system. How do you feel about the role you were given? How do you feel about being born into a role that you couldn't change? And why and who had <clears throat> the most power in society and why? The feedback. During the lesson, my supervising teacher would leave comments on my lesson plans about how I performed in the classroom. And afterwards we discussed each of the points she had made. She first asked what I thought went well in the lesson and we were able to bounce ideas off each other before my supervisor broke down what I did well and what I can do to improve on. For the C7 class, it was important that I focused on AITSL standard 3.1 set by setting out clear goals for the students first, which I was able to do. Then with the activity, I focused on AITSL 4.2, as this will keep all the students, including the diversity students engaged over the course of the three weeks on my prac, my supervising teacher stressed the importance of being explicit and engaging so the students have clear goals that they are able to complete the activities and tasks that not only keeps them engaged but also challenges them. Teaching theories. As teachers, it is vital to keep all students engaged within the classroom setting. As Lee Sil Silman puts it, learning begins with student engagement. So giving year seven an activity which involves the entire class or play a role, either as a king or, king or queen, a lord and a lady, knights and peasants, enables the students to stay engaged as they learn about the feudal system, about how the feudal system worked in the Middle Ages. Furthermore, the activity, an activity Furthermore, an activity such as this focuses on the transactional engagement between teacher and student as, as this classroom activity not only provides a fun and engaging lesson for the students, it will in turn allow for an enriching experience for all students, no matter their ability level, to further their, to further their engagement in the class. It was very important for the teacher to ask the following questions based on the student's findings. Thus, allowing for the teacher to ch teacher challenging the students to think ask the ask the students about their thoughts and their roles in the feudal system as it allows for the students to as it allows for students to teach other students which is seen as another effective form of engagement as it allows for the students to go from the learners to passive recipients of knowledge, to participants elaborating, discussing, sharing, questioning, problem solving, 
and problem solving, increasing motivation and learning, focusing on Piaget's constructivist theory. As students learn through experience, Piaget often expresses the importance of the fact that all knowledge consists of invariants, which the ex experiencer creates and maintains in the face of the changing experience. Doing an activity with year seven, which places them in a simulation of what life was like under the feudal system during the medieval ages for this activity would, would be to scaffold the rep would be used to scaffold the rest of the lesson where the students will answer questions, discuss their roles as members of the feudal system. Critical reflection. The key strengths of this task as pointed out by the supervising teacher was the hook. As the students were able to, as the students were able to interact with their, as the students were, as the students had a role and they were able to interact with their peers and they were able to learn about the feudal system using volleys, which they were able to eat at the end of the task. As mentioned previously, this set up, this set up the students for the rest of the lesson as they were able to use their own knowledge and experience and newfound knowledge to answer questions. AITSL standard 4.2, manages classroom activities, as well as AITSL standard 2.1, understanding how students learn, both are covered during the lesson. I was able to successfully manage the activity and give out clear, explicit instructions towards the students as I was able to further understand the importance of understanding how students learn and different tactics to provide a positive and enriching experience for the students. However, a weakness to this class was students misbehaving. Throughout the activity, students were talking and getting distracted whilst I was talking. So I consistently had to stop and remind the students that it is rude to talk whilst the teacher is talking. However, the talking continued, so I ended the activity. Talking showed to me by giving the students some leeway that they will get distracted throughout the rest of the activity which in turn will have a negative effect on the students as the teacher will be reluctant to do interactive activities with the class again. Final thoughts. In reflection of this activity, I believe that the actual task, task set out worked well as it scaffolded the rest of the lesson. And if the constant talking by the students wasn't there, I was able, I would have been able to further explore the with the students some aspects of the feudal system and possibly the impacts of living in a society where this system was implemented, such as rationing. However, my supervising teacher agreed that it was important that I ended the activity early as the students needed to understand that they are given some freedom and responsibilities. It is expected that they show the teacher some respect as I could overload the year sevens with writing tasks. However, I believe that the concepts I used to enhance the student engagement and provide a positive experience, then by using a constructivist approach, the students were able to build upon the activity and apply them to giving questions. This experience covered three key AITSL standards, 1.2, 3.1 and 4.2. Each of these substandards allow me to gain a better understanding of some of the key factors which will be useful in future lessons as it allows for clear, explicit learning for all students through the use of activities, which will allow me to observe and better understand how different students behave during interactive activities. Thank you.